Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how you can upgrade your Lego truck. But before we start, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos, we do connect building videos, Beyblade videos. You also have another channel it's called Positive Gaming, so let's start. So, say you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and you stumble across just a broken old truck or pickup truck or vehicle. So say it still works, the engine works, what's the first thing you'll need? Tires. You're going to need your wheels. So, we place them on. Okay, good, you found yourself a good way of travel. But, you need to protect yourself, so, let's give it an act. So let's just place down an axe here, like that. So, now you have a weapon, and you're ready to go into battle against the zombies. But, now you found yourself in a, a bit of a situation. The zombies are getting a bit smarter. So what do you need? You need a roof. To make sure they don't jump in, you're going to need a roof. So once we do that... It's going to get dark out there, so we want to put out some, well, extra lights. Can put those extra lights on there. So now you can see in the dark, you've got protection, and you've got yourself a good vehicle. Now, what do you need? Well, I'd say that's not enough lights. Let's put, add some more. So, here we have even more lights. But... Just in case to keep the, your front light safe, you're going to put this barrier so the zombies can't hit it. There we go. And now your lights are safe. So now this is pretty much just that explore, uh, explorer set, but now is the real stuff. So you're worried your doors might break, so we can put some plating on it. So if we just put these on every side, let me just do this real quick and then I'll show you. So if we go here, we can place down that to give you some extra plating and one on this side, like that. So now your vehicle is more protected. But you might be saying, well, hmm, my vehicle isn't that technologized so you can place down some binoculars here like so which also make the vehicle look good as well and to make sure if you have a good chance of finding people you need an antenna so you place this on here like that now you have an antenna now this already looks perfect so if you're not bothered to do anything much and you feel as safe as you can you can just end it off here and you're safe to survive the zombie apocalypse but what if you end up in a very dangerous situation you're going to need to kill off a lo lots of zombies and your axe well your axe won't do much so we're going to get this so you can just ram the zombies so we can just attach that to the bottom of your truck and now you can go and ram the zombies and you can just keep driving you don't need to worry about anything you can lift it up you can lift it down and if you lift it too down well you can like stop your vehicle okay now i'd say this is a good enough defense already so why not why why we should also go for some decorations so we can add some plating or well not really more decoration but a bit more protection you can add some plating here yeah if you have a friend with you yeah you're going to need that to keep them safe and why not add a flag for people to know that this is your truck this is not just someone's truck that they just left and also you can place things here and to protect them, 
you can put one of these. I don't like, actually remember what they're called, but you guys will definitely know. So, yeah, we can just attach it there. And now you can place stuff in here without it falling out or anyone taking it. Now you might be thinking, well, there's nothing that can get better, right? This is perfect how it is. This is going to be the best time ever and I'll obviously survive the zombie apocalypse perfectly. But trust me, it's going to get dangerous out there. So just for some extra protection, let me give you a good old, just a, just a casual gun on the top of your truck. Nothing too crazy, just a, just a nice old gun with um, some defenses just in case the zombies learn either how to shoot at you or throw things so you're going to need these uh, metal plates to protect you and you can also adjust it upward if you can see things flying from the sky or jumping down and also don't worry you don't have to move your vehicle every time to shoot you can just move the gun around like that and guys so this is your survival vehicle. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it, because in the future I will be building more survival stuff for the zombie apocalypse. And we're going to be starting off on how you can survive if you're stuck in a forest. So here it is. Here's the finished thing. Um, as you can see, it's really nice. And I actually surprised myself when I built this. I really liked it. Um, I mean, we will definitely build more, um, more survival trucks or cars, vans, helicopters. So yeah, here it is. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys.